Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back. Tonight we are cooking one African dish. This is a traditional dish mainly for people from East Africa, Nigeria, Enugu State, the home of Abacha. So today we are going to make a different um, Abacha. This is called um, the Eshireshi type of the Abacha. So here we introduce the ingredients. This is the Abacha tapioca. It's um, cassava, raw cassava grated. Uh, not not grated like um, the grating. There's a grater kind of that you used to do this. And this is the onion. You can blanch this if you want. Onion, some green pepper and uh, yellow pepper. This is a sauce from the fish that we cooked. And this is oba or obaka as they call it. Um, if you know the English name, then <laughs> comment about it down there. And we have fish this fish was fried you can oven dry yours we also have red oil because this is another system that they call another style that is the eshireshi type eshireshi means cooking so we have the red oil now sitting uh on top of the burner and we are ready to mix this mix this make this beautiful baby now we are putting in the onion and remember onion is an antioxidant and onion is also from the family of um, uh, vitamins and onion helps to you know clear clear and forward let me speak it as if I am in from Enugu no not this is not Enugu uh, 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 uh. all right the onion is going to clear and forward your system you understand what I mean eh? Nah, this onion is going to help your body. Oh. It is going to clear and forward your body. So it is going to clear and forward your skin too. Clear and forward every part of you. So the pepper is going in now. That is the guy that will make you to be eating and be doing... <sighs> oh, And uh, if you not top this up with a bottle of green or brown substance, you will really really enjoy the atmospheric pressure atmospheric everything coming on from there so we are turning this if you can see the um the the the, the heat is not too much it's like blanching the onion blanching here you can blanch with water but now we are choosing to blanch with red oil and red oil also has its own um components by the way, if you want to do the red oil by yourself, if you want to learn how to make your own homemade red oil, just look up there now for a link to a video we have on homemade red oil. Alright, so we proceed. And now we have the oba, obaka, if you choose to call it that. That's the oba coming in now. The oba has entered and it's been stirred. It's stirred. It's stirred. Oh no, the Obwa is being stirred. Oh, this commentary is coming from you to you from Love Day TV. You there? The Obwa is being stirred. If you can check the texture, the texture, everything looks so nice. Why am I doing video commentary like this? <laughs> Are we in the football? Okay, now it's stirring. It's stirring. As you can see, we are trying to blend this, and you leave it a little bit to you know cook. Obwa has Obwa is from a tree called Obwa. And the process to get the wa into this way is we get the seed, break it, cook it, then use it, it shred it into this. It's, it's kind of knife shredding. You shred it into bits, then put it to ferment, wash it, and bag it. Long the processes look long, but the sweetness of the wa looks much better and as we're having the word to grace this occasion you are going to be enjoying the sweetness of this highly proteinous highly multivitamin um uh, uh, uh multivita oh is it multivitamicious <laughs> anyone i say it is high in protein it's high in vitamin it's high in everything now this is the main man He's coming. He's coming. Now, this is a way. Oh, that's beautiful. 
Now, that's the abacha. The abacha is... Um, I think if you come to Nigeria, the main people who eat abacha uh, as a meal, as uh, this is a different one from the normal tapioca most of you must have gotten used to. The main people who, who eat these are from Enugu State. Enugu State is the home of abacha. Enugu State is the home of abacha. And then we have this part of Enugu State, Achi, the Ovji River area. They eat this like mad. They eat this like, you know, it, it, it's like a, it's like not just a meal. It's like a part of them. If you come from Achi, please give me a thumbs up. No, leave a comment there if you come from Achi. Achi is the best people who know how to make a batcha. But remember, this is a different way to make a batcha. This is the way you make it. And you cook it at the same time. So we are turning this now to make sure that the oil and the ingredients and everything inside this mixes up very well. Um, if it is, if it is, it, 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 some people use, oh, that's the stock. The fish stock is going in now. The fish stock is going in. As you can see, it's going to increase the lubrication factor. The lubrication factor of the oil, the fish stock and everything mix up very well it will aid the um uh, are we also doing this under a very good um low heat so it's increasing the lubrication factor as you can hear the sound meaning that there is a um, contact between the hot plate and the guys in that pot making the contact now is cook frying if you understand what I mean. Now more abacha is coming into the game. Oh, that's the abacha has entered. More abacha is coming in. What it means right now is that. Oh. As he stares it. To the left. To the right. Staring it. To the left. To the right. And if you're not careful. Because one. The, um, the, the, the hotness of your plate needs to be a little bit. Not too much. Because. If you notice this, if you start cooking, the, 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 the color changes. So you need to be very careful at the um, extent of light you are exposing the pot to. It has to be low heat so that we can be able to get the color one and also the texture two. And feel free to put in some sauces like the Maggi Cube, which is indigenous to the people of nigeria i think if you say otherwise please tell me where maggie is from not cube is indigenous to the people of nigeria if you say otherwise please leave a comment below and tell me where you think that not cube is from yes proudly Igbo. this food is proudly Igbo. so if you eat this food it takes you home. It takes you to where uh, after doing this, your grandma finished this, your mom finished this, and put dish it out in an oko, in an eating plate, warm, hot, sauteed round by some, you know, freshly prepared, um, freshly, uh, freshly prepared, um, um, you know, freshly prepared palm oil. Then you now come and garnish this with some crayfish. Now we're using dry and um, ground crayfish. This gives it another beautiful texture and the sweetness is second to none. So you add the crayfish. If you have the prawn, this is the time to add the prawn. Normally the dry prawn, you know, you, you do the you 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 get a dry prawn, soak it in water a little bit to make it a little bit um, um easy for you to eat. You know, put in the dry prawn. If you have the garden egg, also you cut the garden egg to beat and put by the side. There is another type of garden egg that is called mimi. That that that's the 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 
the little type of garden egg is very very bitter but the bitterness shows you how good it is and also remember salt to taste you cannot eat this if you don't have the salt to taste so make sure that you you put the salt to taste not everybody is, everybody have their own gauges of salt so make sure that if you're cooking for the public make sure that you don't add too much salt and also you can garnish it more with some pepper dry pepper for instance if it is not too peppery uh, remember if you're cooking for your family make sure that the children are aware that they know pepper is there so that you don't get <laughs> mommy please mommy i need some more water mommy i need some more <laughs> You get your child crying, but it takes them back home to understand the beauty of the African fish. African food, African fish, African fish. You mean this fish? This fish? This fish? <laughs> it, it, you know, it brings you back home for you to understand and treasure those beautiful African dishes, those beautiful African way of cooking, those beautiful things that make us African. So this is back on the burner right now and as you stir it, you turn it around to make sure that the oil goes around, the ingredients goes around and everything comes out better. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a pleasure to tell you right now that the Eshireshi version of the Abacha is done. So we are going to now dish it out. And I am going to test on your behalf. And be feel free to comment and tell me what kind of drink do you use in this? If you are a wine person, is it the red wine, the white wine? Um, or the other ones that are in green bottle? Or the one in brown bottle? It depends on the one you take. So let me know which of the drinks you use. To eat that you can use to do this. Remember, we have red oil, we have paper, we have everything in it. So, we're gonna dish it out right now and I'll show you how to eat it. <laughs> how we eat on your behalf. On behalf of Love Day TV, this is saying thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're not gone yet, so stay tuned as we show you how to eat this beautiful, beautiful African abacha. Nsisa. Some places they call this Nsisa. The people from Msuka area call it Nsisa. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is beautiful. This is too beautiful. Too beautiful for me to leave. Oh. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Now, the advantage of marrying from Enugu State, from not just Enugu State, from Achi. Is that every weekend, every day of your life, you'll be getting something like this. So your plate will be enriched with such glandarious glory, beauty, beautifying factor. So if you're looking to become an in-law of an Igbo person, <laughs> And for the sake of eating abacha on daily basis, let it be from Enugu State. Enugu people have the best, you know. So this is the dish. It's out. It's well garnished. If you have angara, uh, which is called um, garden egg, you can add garden egg to this. If you other things, otazi, oziza, you can put it by the side too and eat. 